Bravo. Donkey Kong. But yeah, it looks like we're starting now. Apologies. But yeah. Uh, Steve DK, they're going to start PS2. Uh, both characters kind of benefit from PS2 a lot. Again, DK gets uh, Ding Dong. Uh, 100%. Uh, Steve gets his second diamond way earlier compared to some other stages, making it very good. A lot of this is going to end up being on how... Um, one, how early can Noodle kill? Uh, if he can stop the uh, second diamond from happening too early, and then... AK just has this massive lead that he has to work through. Oh, but already seen. AK doing a pretty solid job ledge trapping. It's not very hard for him to, like, w win neutral in this matchup. Um, if the DK messes up once, since he's a big body, like, AK just needs to throw out one nair, one nair or, like, one up tilt, and then all of a sudden, like, he gets a whole combo going against a big body. After the jump off the ledge, but this is going to Nice spot dodge in the middle, but. Again, he can't really do much against the sword. It's gonna just it's gonna catch a jump, it's gonna catch any approaching option. And now AK gets to play this game really close. Runs right in, gets... Yeah, and against gold axe. A lot, but yeah. Not a position yet. He gets another one. Yeah, and now he's in gold axe smash range. Which is very difficult for him. Gets a diamond. Uh has only four iron at the moment. I mean that should be enough. That's a ding dong. Jesus. Yeah, those is diamonds. Um, I don't know if death resets the, um, well, like, the mining queue, but it depends on how soon he's going to get the second diamonds. Yeah, he's just going to get a ton of iron now, a ton of stone. It's going to be really hard for him to get through now. Good monkey punch to get through. He comes a lot of space behind. Isn't he able to get anything off? Just the block. You can't cover the landing. Yeah, now he's out of gold. Power rail. It's the shield break. It's huge. All right, yes. As far as in the down smash, instead of like one of his stronger kill moves, like a smash or up smash or monkey punch, that would have been having still. It get a little low on resources actually. All right, finally gets a back air. Can take some time to mine. It was smart of a AK to put that there, but coming from the hit Halo, it's just like Noodle's not gonna come from the ground approach. He's gonna go just drift right in. Yeah. <laughs> Putting him in the prison there. Just allowed him some time to get some resources. Has some iron back. Only his you know, his iron's been relatively well. I mean it's enough because it's like you have like what? Three like an anvil to help get down and then a couple mine guards. Yeah. Move a dash attack. What I notice here is he was like, Noodle just like 
obviously, as a character, it's hard to play patient in this matchup because you just lose trades and lose most neutral exchanges. Especially the character, like, yeah, you have the higher burst range, but, like, it keeps getting more off each opening. What about you? I mean, like, Neil's just kind of not respecting a lot of the C burst range, especially the dash attack. Like, that's not. So you're getting him with that a lot, and then. Like, in this position, like, he can't really risk going over the wall and trying to, like, force an interaction. Because he's already at, like, what, 160, one, now 180? Like, he doesn't have the resources to be able to do that. But, like... He's also just not keeping in the corner well. Yeah, game one, going to AK. I feel like if Noodle did a little bit of a better job, like, catching him in the corner and keeping him there, he definitely could have made that, um... Made that comeback very quickly. Uh, it just, like, with the resources AK was uh, being able to get, like, a lot of the time he was relatively low on his resources. Like, yeah, he had a good amount of iron, at least three or four iron, and then, like, constantly fluctuating between having, like, no stone and then a bunch of stone. He was doing, like, a good job of just not letting Steve mine to get everything he wants. But, like, again, if he isn't able to push that advantage, like, he's just going to keep losing like, interaction and just get killed really early because of it. Alright, going into game two now in Hollow Bastion, obviously, like, a, bit, a better stage. The DK having that less space and not just letting AK, like, go run to the corner and do what he wants, because there's more space that he has to cover. Gets something started. He needs the minecart, but just doesn't have the mobility. He doesn't have the extra double. The double jump didn't go high enough to actually like catch anything out. Ooh, barely misses. That reach off the glide is huge. Gets a nice little combo start up. He's sitting on stone right now. Really smart use of the up to kill there. Understanding he's going to want to put his walls up, but then just rolls through him or whatever he trade with. Using the armor to his advantage in the corner, where he knows AK is going to want to need to swing. He tries to get a monkey punch just to get there. Buckley saves his jump there. But still, ends up losing the stock. Change. Smart use of down B to go through the wall, so that actually interacting with them. Getting a little bit of damage up, but... Again, I think he only really needs like one or two interactions to all of a sudden like take back a percent lead. I don't think he was either ready for that block too. Definitely was not. Didn't think he needed the tech there to go that low. But again, it doesn't matter with how good Steve recovery is. Good tech chase with the minecart sends him out. This should be a very easy one. Yeah, it doesn't even. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think he probably thought he saw his jump, but then that way he didn't upbeat and then just die. He was just too low. After being down, I think he's definitely warming up each game and understanding like what to do. But the problem is, by that time, he usually just doesn't have much resources. Uh, compared to game one, should kill yet. Compared to the uh, first game, AK definitely did a better job at like keeping his resources up. Uh, although he was a little lower on iron uh, that game, but I think that's also just a, like because of the stage he's on, not being PS2. Uh, still doing a pretty good job. Uh, I know definitely in that matchup, I think what was hurting him a lot was just. Having too much dirt. Um, and his box not being strong, strong enough. But let's see as we get into game three here. Honestly, this might be it depending on um, how well Noodle adapts. Going back to Hollow Bastion, uh, understanding that it probably works the best for him compared to any other stage where you're just going to get more iron. Uh, I understand why they've been not going to the uh, city and then Smashville just not being legal here. Uh, free Smashville. But it's gonna be big. Doesn't get the spike. Who does? Does he get back here? Yeah. Steve moment. Uh, yeah, 
Noodle's now at this percent where he's like above 50, 60, where like you get a little bit better knockback on like an area, and you can kind of just use it to wall out. Similar to like almost Pyra F tilt. Not Pyra, Mithra F tilt. You kind of just can throw out this fairly quick boxing move and it just forces them out, and you can't do anything about it. Yeah, as we're seeing, he's just going for like a lot of nares, a lot of running jabs, getting into combos. We understand that those two pieces are just going to start uh, to kill. Now he's at 120. No iron, but I want to see how he gets his ledge trap. Yeah, just goes for another grab. That trades with down tilt. Wow. It doesn't get the anvil, but it's still too low anyway, trying to avoid it. Interesting block play from AK. I think just like understanding if he wants to go to ledge, he should especially cover the weapon. And if that noodle can't just go for a spike, that will cover his edge if he just plays the block. Yeah. I don't think that's what he wanted. I think he just wanted to fall down and up beyond the stage. Good use of F tilt to cover the ledge there. I'm interested in seeing how Noodle plays this. I think he just wants. He's trying to play it slow, but understands that, like, he's not in the position uh, where he can, like, completely abuse that. Yeah, he has five minutes on the clock, but, like. Oh my god, that a monkey punch. Yeah, that's death. But yeah. This could be it very quickly. Yeah. Two iron on the deck, has uh, iron tools, gets another one. He kind of just plays it slow, has the stock lead, like, take it to, to his advantage. Yeah, I can see. Honestly, the, <laughs> not the worst thing he could do, honestly. Rather than just mindlessly approach him, he can charge up his monkey punch and then just stick with armor. Yeah, there's nothing DK can do there. It's, it's still faster than back air. Yeah, on one iron, a little resources, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. AK just... Does not have pickaxe though. That means he can't kill the up smash right now. All he can get is forward smash and down smash. Gets a ding dong. Okay, not out of the picture for Noodle. Yeah. Maybe just spacing really well in this matchup. Understanding that like he was missing the back up. That minecart doesn't die though. See it. Armors to the down tilt. Good stuff, from Noodle. It just gets grabbed. Probably another down tilt. Arm clanks with the update. This is a grab. And he kills. Oh my god. We're going to a game four. So yeah, amazing stuff. You know, just understanding he needs to take it slow, assess the situations a little bit better. And if AK wants to play slow, it's better for him to just play his game as well. I like uh, how even, even though, like, he knew it was probably better for him to try and approach you. Just sit there, charge a monkey punch. It's the more optimal thing to do in that case. Now you have a move that has armor, so that way if you're even going over the blocks, you just have a move that automatically wins. Any, like, any scrap, because he can't grab it, he's going to get hit, and if he tries to swing, he's going to get hit with his arm. Good start. Okay. Going to town, understanding that he wants more of the space. Alright, gets forces him off stage. Yeah, just jumps right over. Steve not really being good with like vertical unless he's comboing. Like due to the, just a lack of a strong jump height. Uh Needle definitely taking advantage of that as we're seeing. Just going high most of the time. Thought he was gonna drop back down and charge forward. Smart read just didn't work out in this situation. Gets the TNT, goes off the top, so why has he got sent in that direction? Yeah, also, Leaf is behind him. And gets another grab. Does dice off of that. And in City. Alright, pretty much even game. Alright, he has well, really strong in this matchup specifically, dude. He gets back to like a strong class, especially against the. Does 70 off that. 80! Alright, isn't able to the fair. Getting out range with Puppy. Needs to hit this tech. 
Who's just doing an amazing job coming to off stage with helicopter. Right, gets grabbed. My far away. Jesus. Yeah, I thought he was gonna jump. It's hard to make it. I just work out in that situation. All right, he's now out. Ow. He's really kind of now suffering from it. Counter pick is no iron, just getting a ton of wood, putting him back. He doesn't. He's now losing his kill power just by constantly getting wooden tools. As strong as that gold was, now he's coming out. All right. Finally, getting back some, getting some iron off of that. Still only three. Still at 57. And we're just playing this really well. All right, this is something started. This is an iron. I don't know if he was like. I'll use it anyway, just better off. I don't think he's paying attention to his block necessarily. He gets back to his axe. Again, this wooden tools are really hurting him. It doesn't have necessarily the same kill power as some of the stronger materials were. Most of it would be dead by this point. And he's dead! Too far. Alright, game five. So yeah, great adaptation so far from Noodle in this matchup. Kind of suffering game one. One and two, but brought it back in the clincher game three, and then really showed just playing better in game four. Very interested to see how it goes in game five. I could definitely see Noodle like resetting this bracket depending on how this game goes. Because if he keeps up that same momentum, this game five might well be hitting spot. again. No jinxing. Getting into game five here. Get used to the downbeat cover the space. Just really high range, especially on the map. Alright, gets a ladder combo started. Man. Kind of just eating these combos, but now, like, just... Noodle's just kind of playing to it. Understanding that it's better off to just... Rather than panic in those situations, understanding... Alright, he gets his... Steve gets his turn, and he can just play outside of it. Wow, Noodle's space in this... Yeah, but still gets killed by the anvil. Who's playing the corner so well? Just like, accidentally up with once and die off there. Alright, tries to get the pivot grab off the down, but he does get the second hit though, messes him up. It's another ladder. Right, the down throw, does he get anything off the response with an up air? Bit of an habitual up air I've been seeing from Noodle all day, but pretty much fine if he's keeps him. Oh, the side beat that kills. All right, got a little bit something started here for me. You definitely do definitely bring this back all of a sudden. Good use of the monkey punch to go for. Let's see the grip. Doing an amazing job. All right, uh, doing an amazing job of just like. Telling me when he knows uh, AK is going to like finish his combo and his understanding of Steve's combo game itself. Alright. Yeah, just go back, char charging Monkey Punch. No point in trying to approach there, you're just risking way too much. Steve does have a diamond on the board, only two iron though. He doesn't get it. He does kill the cargo back throw. Yeah, okay, kills him in power minecart. Now AK has diamond here, even though they're both at zero. Last knock game five. Alright, big open from AK. He might be not too high up, wasn't able to finish it. Gonna get the perfect ladder combo. He's at 90 now! 100! Alright, trust me. Jump off stage. This is huge. I can see AK just like being a little antsy uh, with how he's swinging. Not really just playing it slow. Understanding that Noodle is just getting better at playing it slow. Yeah, charging Monkey Hunter stage. No. Still gets hit on the mine curve on the under. That was crazy. The grab. Hip hurt box shifting from the grab. Not getting hit by the pickaxe. Drop shield. That's it. AK taking it. Game five. Set one. Amazing stuff from AK today. Noodle playing absolutely out of his mind. Doing some adaptations I haven't seen out of like most players here.